Good evening, Danielle. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Thanks. Awesome. awesome. So how was your day? Very fine. Very fine. Awesome. Fine. Hello, Mr. Pardo. How are you? Oh, okay. Good evening, okay. teacher. Yeah. Good night. No, good evening, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, I am. So, are you going I... to be only as a listener? Yes, teacher. Only listener. Sorry. I understand. But thank you very much for being here. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, we are just going to wait perhaps for one, maybe two minutes most. All right. So, we can actually. Um, you know, give some time to your classmates to join the class, all right? So, and then we can start with the, um, with the topic and the first activity for, for tonight, all right? So, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we can see Catherine there. Hello, Catherine. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm happy to see you online, all right? Okay. How was your day? Very good, teacher. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Did you work a lot today? Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, but it's almost Friday, so you are going to rest a couple of days. Do you work on the weekends? Yeah, um, I, um, I work during the week. During the weekends? Oh, okay. Like Saturday and Sunday or only Saturday? Hello, hello. All right, excellent. I can see as well, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right, How I can also you? see. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. All right. Um, what can see as well, Miguel Angel Santos. Good evening, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. All right. So I can also see here. Let's see who else was here. Guillermo. Guillermo. Good evening. All right, excellent. So, well, let's see here. Well, everybody, let's just start right now with um the first activity for tonight, right? Which is going to be something that um sometimes it could be a little bit funny, but sometimes can be a little bit hard at the same time, all right? So, let me know whenever you can see the 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 screen, please. Can you see it? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So we are going to start right now with uh, a tongue twister, right? So which is actually something that it helps us to improve our fluency, all right? So our pronunciation as well, all right? So it is important that we guys, uh, you know, practice with those tongue twisters in order for you to uh, develop a nice pronunciation. Of course, as every time we practice this, I'm going to um, pronounce it first, so then you can uh, pronounce it after me. So let's see, for example, this one. Uh, everybody repeat it here with me. Sus I'm sorry, I saw Susie. Repeat it. 
I saw Susie. Sitting in a shoes shine shop. Sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she sits, she shines. She shines, all right? And where she shines, she sits. And where she shines, she sits. All right? Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. And where she sits, she shines. Thank you, everybody, for pronouncing. Right? So, uh, I saw Evelyn and Guillermo, Daniel, pronounce it. Also, uh, all the guys right there. So thank you very much. And thank you for the one who opened the microphone, all right? So thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's just continue with this one. Now, we are going to add a challenge right here. What's going to be the challenge? We are going to give some time to do this, okay? Right? So I'm going to set right here my stopwatch. Let me see if I can show you this one right here. Okay, so this one is going to be like zero right now. And I'm going to pronounce it. It says here, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. That's going to be like 12 seconds. 12 seconds, 12 seconds. All right? So you will have exactly 12 seconds to do it. I'm going to set the timer right here. 12 seconds. And I'm going to repeat it. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Mm -hmm. Aha, that's my alarm. So as you go here, todavía me quedo un second más, all right? I love one or two seconds more. So now it's your opportunity to practice. So let's do something right now. I will just give you the opportunity to practice so we can um, have perhaps just like one minute to practice, right? Let me just set the time right here. So it's going to be one minute here. Okay, the alarm has been set. You have one minute and 30 seconds to practice the tongue twister. Everybody, I want to see you through the camera practicing, right? So practicing, practicing, uh, because then I'm going to select some volunteers to pronounce it. So practice, 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 practice. Come on, let's practice. You can do it. Practice, 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 my friends. Okay, let's see here. Okay, okay. Continue, 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 continue. Practice, practice. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop, remember, right? 30 seconds, people, 30 seconds. We almost start, all right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So let's stop right now. All right. So, hey, do I have a volunteer? Any volunteer? Hello, hello. Who's going to be my volunteer? Thank you, Daniel. That's the attitude. All right. So please go ahead, my friend. Okay. No one can tap. One second. Okay. I okay. I keep going. I saw Susie sitting in a sushi shop where she shit, she shine, and where she shine, she shit. Susie sitting in a sushi shop where she shine, she shit, and where she shit, she shine. Okay. Very good. Excellent. You did good. All right. But you make like some uh pronunciation mistakes right here. When you say like she, this is sit. Sit. Um, so sorry. Uh, because if you are if you're saying for example 
she shits that to she be sits. something different, you know? She sits. All right. So we have to be careful with that one because if you actually um you see here. Oh, oh my goodness. This guy's stuck right here. One second. Okay, you know, if you see um if you say actually this word, you're talking about this one. You see, that's why we had to say she sits. All right, so she understand? Sit. She exactly. Sit. Okay. No, excellent. no, she shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not correct. All right. So okay, okay. one more time, please. One more time. You can do it. One more time. Ta yes, please. Yes. I saw Susie sitting in a sushi shop where she sit, she shines. And where she shines, she sit. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sit, and where she sit, she shine. Excellent. That's actually better, 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 better. All right. So good job, good job, good job. All right. So I really like it. So you did like a very good job, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay excellent. So let's see. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Thank you, Ursula. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm all going right, to try. You. Okay, you can do it. All right. So please go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Amazing. That was easy for you. Oh, come on, Ursula. That was a piece of cake for you, my friend. All right. So good, good, good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, hey, Evelyn, you want to be a volunteer now? That's good. All right. Ready? Yes. All right. Go ahead, my friend, please. Okay. I uh, saw so Susie sitting in a show shine shop where she sits. She shines, and where she shines, she sits. Susie sitting in a shine show, shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. There you go. Excellent. So that was actually a good job. Just remember, in this case right here, shoe shines. Shoe shine. There you go. Exactly. All right. So let's see this one right here. Uh, and then let's just continue with anybody else. Hey, thank you, my friend. You did it good as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So anybody else, people? Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. All right. So ready, my friend? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Go ahead. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. <clears throat> and where she shines, she sits. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Thank you. Amazing. Oh my God, people. I'm going to look for a little bit more difficult tongue twisters because those tongue twisters are easy for you, right? Thank you, my friend. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Hello, hello. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. So let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Luna, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And what about you? Not bad, teacher. Not bad. No. Can, no. can I try? Of course. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Very go. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. Very good job. All right. So super good as usual. All right. Um, let's see this one right here. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for helping me and participating in this activity, which I'm really proud of you. You did a very good job, actually. 
Congratulations. Okay. So now let's just go ahead and see what are we going to be uh, working on here, which is going to be super easy here. We are going to be working with our book tonight. All right. So if you have the copy of your book, please help me out so I can help you with this. I mean, you can see this as well here. Okay. I will show you this right now. One sec. There you go. Excellent. Let me know if you can see the new screen, my friends, please. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 I see. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So look on this one right here. So, oops. One second, my friends. I just made a mistake right here. One second, one second. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I don't know what I did here. All right. So one quick second, please. All right. Oops. I'll fix it right now. Don't worry. I guess I closed it by mistake. Okay. We are about to continue. One sec. Okay. Oh, I can see here more people are joining the class. Remember, people, it's important to be uh, online in the class so you can actually uh, be part of the activities and participate, right? So let's see. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. No sé, bueno, me falta un mes todavía, pero no sé si en diciembre nos van a dar clase. Igual. Excuse me? La pregunta es que en el mes de diciembre nos van a dar clase. Yes, but not the whole month. I guess we finish like in the middle of December. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, so don't worry. You are not going to be in Christmas in the middle of the class. Don't worry. Okay, All right, you. excellent. So, okay, here you have it. Sorry, guys, there was difficulties here with the, with the computer, right? So, but here we are again. Okay, everybody, now let's just focus. As I said before, we're going to be working in our book. All right, so because all the activities for tonight are part of the um, the book right here. So we can work together on this one. So let's go with the activity number one. So activity number one right here, it's going to be the following. And it's this one. It says right here, we have two questions. All right, the question number one says, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? Everybody, I want to hear you repeating the question. So please go ahead. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Please repeat it. What steps what do you follow in your everyday work? Do you follow in your everyday work? Thank you very much. All right. So, hey, everybody, do you remember the meaning of steps? Paso. Los pasos, exactly. Right. So, los pasos a seguir and follow. Que uno sigue. All right, you follow e every day in your work, all right? So, and we have the question number two that starts here. What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Please repeat it. What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? One, two, three, go. What happens when, what an, happens employee when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Thank you very much, all right? So let's see. Well, to answer the question number one, you basically um, tell me exactly what you do in your job. For example, let's see, um, Ursula, what do you normally do in your everyday job? Do you have a process to follow or it's different every single day? Mm -hmm. It's different every single day. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like, normal, what, what do you I, normally I, do? Um, I arrive at work mm -hmm. at around 7 30 a.m. and then I uh, bring a cup of coffee and around 8 a.m. <laughs> around 8 a.m. I start to work. I review the 
the emails and I start to answer uh, emails about requests of the of my partners or the customers. And but basically that is my job to uh, answer the the emails and sometimes I have to make a report, some report for, for my bot. Okay, great, great, great. All right, so that's basically your everyday work, right? Yes. Thank you very much. All right, excellent. So thank you, my friend. So we have an example for like the one Ursula gave us about her uh, routine, right? Can anybody else share uh, the routine that you have in your jobs? Hello, hello? Hello, hello. Anybody else who wants to share their routine? I come on, people. Only one person, please. Choose one teacher. You choose it. Do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Henry Giovanni. Who? Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni. Hello, Henry. Good evening. Hi, ah, listener. Oh, listener. Yeah, it's uh, true. No, yeah. Gustavo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, my <laughs> friend. So tell me, what's the routine you normally have in your job? Um, in my case, is att attend a meeting, um, ten re review the, the agent, uh, uh, call the, the client, uh, hmm? You call the clients and uh, to to visit the client. You visit the clients as well. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for sharing those things. All right. Thank you for sharing your routines or the steps you follow every day. All right, excellent. So now I want to ask you something, people, based on your experience. What happens when an employee doesn't follow the procedures? Uh-huh. What happens? What happens? What happens? Teacher, customer... uh -huh. Can I opinion in the first question? Yeah, okay, of course. Give us your opinion, please. Okay, in my case, in my mm -hmm. company, every day mm -hmm. is very is different uh, uh, procedures or so yeah. procedures follow. For example, in the cashier uh, uh, on Monday, she's uh, checking the new archeo, no sé cómo decía, archeo of cash. And the Monday, Tuesday, I review the report supervisor. And Wednesday, I send a, send a report of producer, of production. And Tuesday, uh, no, in Monday and Thursday, I review the remesas, no sé. Okay. The remesas at Cersa Prosa and send many, many reports or, for example, disability for many employees or for any, or any employees or the bills for electric. Uh, maybe it's uh, many reports and Friday uh, prepare prepare that the uh, checklist, checklist every week and 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 Sabado, Sabado is, 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 is Saturday and Saturday uh, checking the bobinas uh, for middle or or take a measure uh, with a ruler or with a cinta metrica mm -hmm. and checking the the quality for poline quality for for creo que sheet lamina sheet, right? correct checking sheet and checking the report or progress that the um, employees 
Okay, very good. Is that that's it? That's that, that sounds like a really busy day, actually. Yes. All right, and, and you do the same every day. I'm the same every day. For example, uh, uh, calling the client and maybe visit the exactly project. Uh, mm -hmm. Check the email. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing the the. ¿Cómo se dice aseo? Ah, doing the routines for for cleaning mm -hmm. in the company. Okay, all right. It's like cleaning the office, basically. Yes, is a is the routines every day. And what happens uh, when someone doesn't follow the routine or the steps? Uh, for example, you don't clean the, the office. Uh, uh -huh. You receive a order the um, recursos Human humanos. resources. The human basically resources. a warning or, uh -huh. or or only taking the attention only calling the attention is the formal verb the verbal way una amonestación sería una verbal warning yes verbal verbal warning ah, okay verbal la nota ahorita uh -huh. verbal warning there you go excellent so I like that one thank you my friend thank you for sharing all those things Right, and thank you for sharing all that information as well. So that give us an example here, right? So, uh, and thank you also for the vocabulary you were asking because that gives me the that gives me the opportunity to also give you more vocabulary there. All right, excellent. So now let's see what happens here with the book when it says like this one. So ya escuchamos ahí, right? So the two options, escuchamos tres procesos diferentes, the three different people, and um. We also listen to what happens in one of them. So normally, I guess this is very common, right? So if you don't do what you are supposed to do in your job, you are getting um, a warning, a verbal warning, perhaps, all right? Uh, and I have a question for you, everybody. Have you ever, like this one, have you ever got a warning like this? Have you ever got a warning? Yes or no? Do you understand the question, people? Mm -hmm. Hello? No, teacher. No, no. You don't understand the question? Or you haven't got a warning? Mm. No, I have. No, I haven't. Yes. Okay, that's good. So you do the things uh, you're supposed to get to do, right? I don't understand the question. How no problem. Got a warning. Can you see it now? Yes, I have. Oh and my not, goodness! And not only one. <gasps> oh, what happened? You didn't follow the process. No, 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 no. Uh, for example, uh, I remember that uh, one day I dancing the. ¿Cómo se llama esta canción? I don't remember that that song, and I I was I was work at the, the in a quality mm -hmm. and, and control quality. Mm -hmm. And I I lose the o sea, dejé pasar un, un dejé pasar un defecto. Uh -huh. When the manager reviewed the, the boxes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he said, no, he saw that the el error, the mistake. And called me, hey, you have a problem with uh with uh, mistakes, and you you have a credit that the warming. Warming is reading, no. Warming reading, mm -hmm. no, the verbal word, warming. A, re a written, right? 
Yes, oh in another God. in another opportunity, uh, I suspended the a suspension. Yes, for today and mm -hmm. and recently, mm -hmm. I received the the verbal warning because I answers answers bad uh two clients and hey, my friend come on <laughs> hey man hey, he said uh shit man you down me, me dijo hey tú, vos no conoces lo que estás trabajando y yo me quedé hey si si llevaba seis meses siendo el, el vendedor de mes como no voy a conocer ahí okay, okay, don't, don't switch don't switch from Spanish to English just keep it in English you can do it right? <laughs> okay le, okay uh, uh, See you and I am uh, and I call in a, a partner and say that the hey please attend the client and and the and the client se quejaron complain uh, call, mm -hmm. call play a, a customer service mm -hmm. and I reserve the verbal and I'm receiving the verbal warning. Really? Oh my goodness! All right. So well. So, so Sorry to hear about that, but remember that when you're working with customer service, it is important to always keep calm, right? So I know like sometimes it's just like this one. Uh, yeah. It's always important to keep calm, right? So because the customers can complain, um, you know, and then we can be in problems, right? So well, there's an expression an expression in English that says in hot water. And and I want their experience for attendant clients. Uh -huh. You have experience? Yes, it's a, a I want the experience. So I got experience para no tenerlos igual. All right. Ah, oh, okay. So in this in this case, the correct verb will be a game, all right? And let's see. All right, so there you have it, gain experience, all right? So yo sé que el verbo win, el pasado es won, pero eso es como when you win, cuando ganas un premio, for example, win. All right, so para experiencia o para peso, for example, we use the word gain, okay? Awesome, thank you very much. All right, so let's say this one. Thank you guys, all right? So creo que like we have a clear example of what happens when you don't follow the procedures or the steps, right? You definitely get a warning, all right? So a verbal warning or a written warning, depending on how delicate was the situation you didn't actually pay attention to or you didn't actually follow, right? Well, do you have any questions before we move to the activity number two, people? No? No, okay. No, teacher. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one. So let's just go ahead and practice with this one. The paragraph that we have here. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So it says, read the following conversation about a new employee at the restaurant. Okay. So we have this one right now here. And it says, I'm going to read it for you first, and then you guys are going to have the opportunity to practice this with a classmate, so you can both be um, practicing this conversation, right? So we'll go with Javier, all right? So it's like, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you give a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, so that's actually what happens. It's gonna be a really short conversation, okay? Uh, now, do you have questions about um the um, the vocabulary from the paragraph or pronunciation? No questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, excellent. So in this case right here, we are going to be working in the breakout rooms, right? So you guys are going to be working with 
the reading. So you practice the reading, right? So remember that una vez you can be Javier, the otra vez el manager, and vice versa, right? And then you answer the questions number uh, in the number three activity here. So it says answer the following questions. So then we have two questions and then you actually uh, answer those questions here. Um, is it clear what you guys are going to do? Did you understand the activity? Yes. 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 All right. Excellent. So let's see here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. Okay. I'm creating the breakout rooms right now. One second. How many people I have here? 17. So let's just go on this one. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, it's gonna be this way. Okay, excellent. Before I send you to the breakout rooms, I just wanna make sure que tengo siempre los que dicen oyente, at least uno por room, para que estén ahí just listening y no quede ahí solo, veamos. Um, let me check attendance right now. I, I will check attendance. Please say present. Eduardo Flores. Here I am. Present. All right. You can participate, right, Eduardo? Right, teacher. Yes, you can participate, correct? He's correct. He's correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Jill. Good evening. Good evening. Can you participate or are you a listener? Uh, participate. Okay, great. Excellent. Mr. Luna, can you participate or are you a listener? No, teacher. I can participate. Okay, excellent. So you said you can, right? Positive. Okay, yes, yes, right. Okay, cool. All right, so Noe Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Noe. Can you participate in the activity? Yes, really. Okay, really. thank you. Sonia Esmeralda. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sonia. Can you participate? Yes. Okay, excellent. Henry Giovanni, it says listener here. Uh, <laughs> Catherine Beatriz Ventura, hello. Hi, teacher. All right, can you participate? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So let's do this one. One second right here. And uh, let's see, let's see. That was Catherine. Edwin Esaú Galdames. Hi. Present. Can you participate, my friend? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Jamilet. Yes, I can. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Can you also participate? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. So let's see this one. And then I have Reina. And Pardo, who are our listeners, so no problem, no problem, no problem. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then I have David Custodium. Hello, my friend. Can you participate tonight? Participant. Participate, can you? Participant. Okay. All right, so Miguel and Ursula, can you participate as well? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Va, good. Bueno, aprovechamos, pasamos lista al mismo tiempo y verificamos que queden siempre con gente que you can participate with or talk to, all right? Mm -hmm. So, así teacher. que, vámonos a los rooms. Oh, sorry, somebody said teacher? Yes, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. tell no, me. No, 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 no. David Custodio. Oh. No, Daniel, my brain. Daniel, 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 Daniel. Let's see here. Oh, you're right, Daniel. I'm sorry. I escaped you. Estabas antes de Edwin. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, can you participate, Daniel? <laughs> yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. I les mando la invitación. So the invitation has been sent. Please. 
join their rooms and participate in the activities. Remember, reading, practice reading the paragraph and then answering the question. So two activities at the same time, all right? Go ahead. Oh no, the first two questions, the first two questions are the questions we were practicing at the beginning, before the conversation, right? Yes, right. So uh, then we need to practice the conversation and then uh, answer these two questions, right? Correct. It was, it's going to be activity number two and number three. That's correct. Okay. So Jill, we, we will skip the first two questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? If you want for practicing, then that's okay. I mean... That would be a problem. So you can ask okay. these questions for practicing, of course. Okay. Then what do you think, uh, Jill? Can we start with the conversation? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, let's start with the conversation. Um, Okay, would you like to start first? Okay. okay. Uh, sir, I forgot how to process a uh, payment. Mm, all right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. <clears throat> After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. <laughs> then the register prints the receipt and you give and you give and you give it back to the customer finally the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy thank you mr moore okay uh, okay switch places uh, okay okay i will start uh, sir i forgot how to process a payment all right first you give uh, the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put and put it in the register on your slide. The card throw the car throw the car reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer thing the receipt and you keep a copy okay Thank you, remember Mr. that Moore. it's not it's not seen it's sign mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. sign sign correct um signs. okay thanks okay and i have forgot the pronunciation of 
this process, process or process. 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 process okay is the payment okay okay Jill thank you Let's Mr. Moore <laughs> thank you Mr. Moore <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know. All right. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Jill. Uh, what step do you the does manager more give? You? Ah, does uh, okay. Entonces sería after that take the payment. 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 Correct. And put mm -hmm. in the re register. Mm -hmm. Or your sleep. Slide. Slide. slide the car strong. Strong. The, the car, car rider. rider. Through. 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 Correct. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the pronunciation, the uh, register or uh, register, CJ? It's register. Register. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, pronunciation, pronunciation, the print, print. Mm, print, you mean? Uh, Prince. Prince. Uh -huh. Prince. Uh -huh. uh, the the receipt. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. The question one. Sería. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? Sería. Will be. What? What word does manager more uses to order the sequence or event? Sequence of events. Sequencing of event. Event. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to go to a different um, room. If you need my help, let me know. Don't call me, all right? Okay. And remember, no Spanish. No Spanish. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yes. Uh, question two. Um, Eh, no sé cómo si la secuencia de eventos sorry okay. la, esa secuencia de eventos es un proceso right o sea qué palabras usó el manager para eh, dar las instrucciones en el proceso mm, okay mm. tal vez no son like like todo el texto sino que cuáles fueron las palabras con las que se identifica que hay que hacer primero después etcétera O sea, esas palabritas. Está bien. Yeah. All right. Excellent. And the register. Uh, uh, finally. Hello. <laughs> I had a question. Tell me. How say, um, um, how... How the pronunciation of register. In oh, English. register. Register. Correct. Register. Teacher, we have a dude. What is in your the, dude? Tell me. And the version and the question first. The first question. What okay, is, tell me what is it? What step does manager more 
get Javier to process a payment. Uh -huh. Is that is the second paragraph? Is the manager mm -hmm. all right fair to give the option to pay in cash or it credit is, card? It is there. What steps does the manager give to process? Basically, yeah, it's the second paragraph. That, okay. That's the process. And, huh? and the second question is mm -hmm. what is on what is the words or what words? Uh, the the answers is first, after that, then and finally. The linking works. Exactly. The linking works. That's the correct <laughs> answer there. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You know, guys, you can also um you can also practice the 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 first two questions que teníamos al principio para que you know continue with the conversation, okay? The activity number Very one. Good. The Lexus star. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. I so you can practice. Ya las discutimos en grupo, pero you can practice individually as well. So keep the conversation, right? But in English, of course. What? What? I haven't. No, uh, do you have the book open right now? No, teacher. I have. Ah, okay. No I problem, have no in problem. the internet on my computer. I am in the cell phone. Okay, no problem. Let me... um. Send the chat. Uh huh. I'll send in the chat right now. Aquí en Zoom para que no salga. So you don't have to leave the Zoom. Okay, let's see. Or send at the chat the, the WhatsApp. I have a two, two, two a screen in my cell phone. Oh, okay. Aquí están en WhatsApp, en el chat, I mean, en el, en el de Zoom, pero luego mandé el WhatsApp también, no problem. Okay, okay, is it this one? Okay, let's see. One second, se está trabado este volado. Aquí está. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So, para que avancemos, esta ya las vimos, like you already practiced these questions in with all the class, right? But only three people participated. So, it's your opportunity now that you are with your classmate to uh, practice the questions as well. All right? Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So, I will go to a different room right now. If you need my help, please let me know. Okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Eduardo. Aquí estoy. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yes. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention also that you can practice questions. The first two questions, the activity number one, uh, the one we were talking about um, in the group, right? So, but you can have the opportunity to explain that right now individually with your classmates. So the, the questions are in the chat also. You can see them. Okay, teacher. All right. Do you see the questions in the chat? Yes. All right. Excellent. So please practice those two questions as well. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that before. What is that do you follow in your every work? Mm, well, first, I turn on my computer. 
And after that, I I eat my breakfast with my co-workers. And we talk a little bit about our lives. Then <laughs> I <laughs> I start my chief and I answer the phone almost all the day until I finish my chief. And finally I come back to my home. Okay. Okay. Um, what happens when an um, employee doesn't follow proce procedures? Um, could happen that he give uh, bad information to the customers or he can uh, make a mistake when he sells something, uh, for example. Or in, he could be, what else, a bad employee because the procedures in a company are really important. And if you don't follow the procedures, and this, that's wrong for, for the employee. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Okay. Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I had like a connection issue, but I'm back. Sorry. Continue. Excuse me. Okay, okay Evelyn. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Okay. Uh, first, I cleaning my workplace. Edwin is a Caldames Calderon. Hello, teacher. And Daniel Membrane. Hi, All right. Teacher. So I'm sorry, guys. What when I gave the instructions, I forgot to mention that you can practice the first activity, the first two questions. The question, yes, sir. Yeah, practice the question number one, the first and second, and All then right. so, practice the conversation. Uh huh. And then yes. And cambiar. We interchange. No, but I was saying it's like, did you check the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So activity one, activity two, and activity three. Where is the, the three? You can now practice this question with your class. Hmm. Only two activity. No, I, Where I, is said, that? I said that Um, I forgot to mention before. I sent a new image with the question with the activity number one that says let's start let's start yes we finally oh you finished that one yes okay cool, yeah. cool, cool. no problem no problem all right so we are going to just a uh, close the session here so we can go back to the previous to the previous class all right okay thank okay. you daniel Hoy, si le alcanza a terminar, por ejemplo, le pregunta a usted, usted, usted me pregunta a mí. No Spanish. <laughs> la, la homework number three. Eh, what? Hello, Miguel, Ursula, David. All right, how are you? Well, good, teacher. Hi, teacher. All good. Awesome. We are just going to be waiting for everybody else to join the class again. Okay, let's see. 
There you go. Excellent. So everybody, welcome back to the class. I really appreciate that one. And now I would like to know if I have a couple who can be volunteer for reading the paragraph, the conversation. Volunteers? Me, teacher. All right. Thank you. Evelyn, who are you working with? Repeat, please. Who are you working with? Who's your classmate? Um, ¿Con quién trabajó? Con um, Eduardo. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Abrego. With me, teacher Eduardo Flores. All right, Abrego. thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, Eduardo. In... No, 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 no. She said that Eduardo Abrego. Oh, no, it, you. It was me. Who was you? Me, teacher, Guillermo. Oh, Guillermo. All right, Guillermo. Can you please help me? Yes. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, Take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you very much. Now, can you switch the roles? Now, Javier, it's uh, Guillermo. No, Javier is Evelyn, and the manager is going to be Guillermo. Please. Okay. Sir, okay. I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, Take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card to the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, excellent. Just remember, Guillermo, you said signs, no things, all right? Okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Guillermo. You did a very good job. Congratulations, my friends. Good, 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 good. That was actually amazing, 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 amazing. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now let's see. Uh, Miguel, I saw you raise your hand before. Okay. All right. Who are you working with, Miguel? Uh, with David and Ursula, I think. All right. So Ursula, or who's going to help you? Okay, Miguel and Ursula then. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I I for, I forgot how to process the payment. Mm -hmm. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. If I, and finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, excellent. So now please switch the roles, my friends. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it, put it in the register of you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. 
Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, that was actually super good. You two guys did a very good job. I like it. Nice pronunciation, by the way, and super nice intonation. All right, excellent. Thank you. Who is going to be my next couple of volunteers? Hello, hello. Wilfredo, who are you going to be working with? Geo teacher. Geo, all right. Yes. Oh, Gio. All right. So I heard Gio and I was like, who Gio? Who's Gio? All right. So, okay, Gio, Luna, please go ahead. Okay. Gio, would you like to start or do you prefer yes, I yes. do it? Okay. Um, uh, sir, I forgot how to process uh, a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or use light the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Uh, switch place, okay, uh, sir. I forgot how to process a payment. Okay, one moment, one moment. Excuse me, uh, okay. again. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Mm -hmm. um, all right, first, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put and put in in the re register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So awesome. 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 Very good job, my friends. You did also good, good, good. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Now, now everybody will participate. One more. Let's see. Who is the next one? The next one, the next one. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Mm, well, if you don't want to like, you know, don't worry, aquí los tengo ya clasificados por quién sí puede y quién no puede, right? So, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Veamos, Jill y Luna, ya pasaron. Noé y Sonia, Noé y Sonia, ajá, Noé y Sonia. Ok, teacher. All right, so <laughs> ya vieron, well organized, all right, so let's see, go ahead, please. Sir, I forgot how to process a uh, payment. All right. First, you give me the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in uh, register or you slide the card from the card reader. reader. Then the re register, write the receipt and you give in back to the customer finally the customer sign the receipt and you you get a copy thank you mr moore okay now okay. switch the roles please uh -huh. still i forgot who who the process a payment um i <laughs> said all right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. First, you give the option to the pay in cash or credit card. After that, pay the payment and put in it the register or your slip the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. 
finally to finally the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, you did it all so wonderfully here. All right. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So let's see. Okay, now let's see who's the next one. The next one, the next one. Ahorita vemos who's the next one here. Thank you. So we have Jill, Le Asubo, Noé, Noé, and Sonia Esmeralda. Ah, volunteers. Ah, Sonia, I saw you, Sonia. You're there, you're there, you're there. All right, so Sonia and Noé, go ahead. Otra vez? Oh, you were the first one? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Get over here. No problem. Miguel and Ursula, Daniel. And, ah, no, guys. Daniel and Edwin. Yes. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Edwin. Hi, sir. Aha. Estamos. All right. So, ah, you were on silence, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, so, only read. Aha, uh -huh, just reading. Right now, just reading. Okay. I am Moor. Okay. Primero, Edwin. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it put it in the register of your slide the card through the card read. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer seeing the receipt and you give a copy. Thank uh -huh. you, Mr. Moore. All right, now change. Uh -huh. Sir, I forgot how to preserve a payment. All right, first you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or or you slide the card from the card ready, then the register prints the receipt and you hip in the back to the customers. Finally, a customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, excellent. All right, that's actually good as well for you here. Thank you very much, my friends. You did it wonderfully as well. Okay, with you two, we finished. Everybody was ready because everybody had to participate, right? So, uh, but now, people, I need more volunteers, all right? So, to continue with the activity number three right here. All right, see this one. There you go. There you go. What happens right here with this one, all right? Okay, the activity number three is actually something you can see there right now, all right? So we have that one, all right? So we have two questions, and I just need two volunteers, basically. Volunteer for question number one and volunteer for question number two. So now, please, who can be my volunteer for the question number one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. All right, so go ahead. I have to read it and answer. Let me help you with the reading. What steps does manager more give Javier to process the payment? Well, first, um, he have to give the option to pay in cash or credit card. The second one is to take uh, the payment and put it in the register or slide the card to, through the card reader. Number three, um, the register prints the receipt and you have to give it back to the customer. And the last one is 
that the customer has to sign the receipt and I have to keep the copy. Okay, thank you very much. So basically, it was a paragraph number two, right? Yeah. Thank you, Guillermo. You did a good job on that one. Thank you, thank you. All right, who can help me that with the question number two? Question number two, question number two. Who can help me with that? Hello? Maybe. Now everybody's a listener. <laughs> oh, Jill, thank you. Tell me, Jill, what word does manager more use to order the sequence of events? The, the microphone, Jill. Sorry. The word uh, first, uh, after that, then, and finally. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the words in with the... In bold letters, right? First, after that, then, and finally. All right. So, thank you very much in this one. So, you guys did a very good job. So, um, it says words that you can see there in bold letters are called linking words or connectors, right? So, because as the name says, they link or they connect the ideas in a process, right? So, they give you or they help you to identify the sequence, right? So, first, after that, then we can also use later, besides that, also, et cetera, right? So we have more, more than only four, right? And um, to explain a process. Okay, so that help us here uh, with the last question here. I mean, the last activity here, which is the number four. Activity number four, it says here, Okay, I need a volunteer who can give me a hand reading the instruction in number four. In number four, number four. What's the instruction? Can you me help teacher. me? me Thank you, Mr. Luna. Go ahead. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Choose one of the situations below and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Then Thank you very present... Much. Uh -huh. Then sorry, present sorry, sorry. your process to the class. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually a very good job. I really like how you pronounce and read, my friend. That's super nice. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So let's talk about, oh my God, this is actually something that we don't like. Angry customers or difficult customers. Have you ever had the bad experience of talking to an angry customer? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, DJ. Yes. DJ. All right. So, and how was it? That was not nice. Yes or no? Huh? Was it? Was it actually easy? Was it difficult? Was it uncomfortable? All right. What happens there? Tell me. Mm hmm. Yes. Hello, hello. All right. Oh, by the way, do you understand what we're talking about here? Do you understand the questions? Yes, teacher. All understand. right. Okay, excellent. So uh, the question refers to, like, um, for example, the, um, the, the experience that you have with an angry customer. So basically, where what you're going to do it's just like um you know share that experience you had right so uh, for example you can say i remember well i have to talk about this because i have the i have had the opportunity to work in the customer service area uh, when i was younger in i had the opportunity to work in a call center and you know this is about customer service and the customers are normally angry right and uh, i remember i had the opportunity to talk to someone who didn't understand the process to receive a, a refund do you guys know what is a refund yes or no yes teacher. okay thank yes, you teacher. for the ones who don't know what is a refund i'm gonna type it here 
on the chat, all right? So you can see it. So uh, I had to process a refund. Yeah, the customer I was talking to, she was going to receive the refund. So the refund was for sure possible for her. The only problem was that she wanted the money immediately, like right away, right? And I explained to her that it was not possible to do that because it normally takes between three to five days uh, to for her to receive the refund. That depends on the bank, right? But she was really angry. You know, she was going through many situations in her life at the moment because she told me that later. And then I was trying to explain to her the best way possible, repeating again the reason why, right? So in confirming her that she was going to receive the, um, um, you know, the refund, right? So everybody here, uh, before we go with the, um, with this one right here, before we go with activity number four, I want to show you something here, all right? Let's see. Let me know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, I can. All right, excellent. So handling with angry customers. So this is something that I really want to like uh, share with you here, guys, because I know it's important that you guys understand this one right here, okay? So uh, like this one, it says here, handling with angry customers. Okay, I need um three volunteers, a volunteer who can help me with one, two, and three, four, another volunteer for four and five, and another volunteer for six and seven. Volunteer number one, thank you, Miguel, go ahead. Number one, two, and three. Number one, say, don't take it personality. Personality. Uh, personally. Mm -hmm. Number two, see the situation for from their perspective and be actively sympath sympathetic. Sim sympathetic. Sympathetic. Mm -hmm. Number three, actively actively listen to your customer. Thank Please you very much for that one. Yeah, actively, correct. Actively. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct, correct, correct. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, let's see. Now let me explain one by one. So for example, don't take it personally. Remember that the customer, it's not angry or it's not mad at you because of you. So it's not your fault, right? The customer is angry because he or she had a problem with one of the services or the products that your company offers, right? So, um, for example, you know, talking about this one, just to say something, Noe, where do you work, Noe? In, in uh, Almacena Pedri. All right, excellent. So you work in the store? Uh, uh, Algunas veces. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Have you ever had a problem with an angry customer? Yes, yes. All right, so the client is enojado or the customer is angry por Noé or because he could he had a problem before. Porque tuvo un problema antes. A veces, a veces es la actitud de los clientes ya. Sí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? So, but that, but for example, Tell us, Noe, about a problem that you had. El último problema that you remember you have with a customer. What happened? No remember, teacher. No remember, all right? Or any problem that you remember from your experience in the store? ¿De algún cliente enojado que tú recuerdes alguna vez? Mm -hmm. Sí, Sí, muchas veces, pero en específico no recuerdo ahorita. Okay, no problem. Can somebody else help me with that experience to see if you have dealt with an angry customer? Mr. Luna, where do you work? I work at Fruit of the Loom Teacher. And, and do you deal with customers directly? Uh, not really, but I, uh, I receive people. Uh, in that case, uh, they are my clients. 
Mm -hmm. They are like my clients uh, because uh, they ask us uh, for ink. They work with, with ink. We uh, we make the ink in the lab and we um, deliver it to, to those people. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, some of them sometimes um, can't work with the ink because uh, uh, we prepare the, the ink with the same uh, density for for all for all of them, mm -hmm. but some people can't work with the ink because uh, uh, I don't know what the problem with 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 them. So in that case, uh, what we do is to prepare a different density for that people that are uh, like three people. <laughs> the <laughs> the other ones, yes, uh, 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 the 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 wall people is about forty eight people. Uh, uh, but three or four of them can work with the with the same ink. I don't know why. And, and are always the same people? <laughs> yes, it's the same people. The problem is not the ink, and the problem are not we are not us. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not it's not uh, our problem. The mm -hmm. the problem uh, is, uh, are those people. Those people. All right, excellent. So okay, that's actually an example of this one. All right, so. Uh, you don't have to take it personal, right? So, and that's, I guess your case is a good example for this one because at the end here, it's not your fault, Mr. Luna. As you said it, you prepare the ink for everybody like the same way, right? So, prepare the ink for todos de la misma forma. Entonces, it's not possible. It's not your fault, right? Y no eres tú. It's not you the only one working there, right? So, no solamente usted depende de eso. Yes or no? Yes, but when you said... Uh... Uh, don't take it personally. I remember the example of the people who work in the uh, the, the companies of telephones, the call uh, centers, or, mm -hmm. or at the call centers, or or uh, at the banks, because some clients uh, said to them, "To them, you are a thief." But <laughs> the 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 the, the uh, how the, uh, the um, um, ¿cómo se dice el, el que está atendiendo el, el se me ha ido la the representative uh, or the agent. Uh, mm -hmm. The agent, yes, yes. The agent is not the uh, uh, the problem, but the people say said to them, thieves. <laughs> but, uh, exactly. Taking this, uh, taking the problem, the general, but but they are just a a, a worker. That's correct, and that's that's what I was saying, right? So, but don't take it personally because it's like. Do you cannot say like the customer is angry because of me, right? Or Joyce no had a cliente or whatever, right? So no, el customer, it's already angry. Si no pongámonos desde la perspectiva del customer, when you have problems with the internet, for example, and you call Claro or Tigo, you are not happy, are you? Not really. <laughs> not really, right? Entonces, y usted no está enojado, you are not angry with the person on the phone. Now, si la persona hace una regada, pues, like, if the person is screws up, right? So, of course, that's going to be something different, right? But just because you pick up the phone, it doesn't mean that the client is angry with you. This significa don't take it personally. Thank you. So, see the situation from their perspective and be actively sympathetic. How would you feel? Lo que acabamos de decir, with the problems with the internet, right? If you had a problem with the internet connection, Right? Imagine que están like watching your favorite series. Oh my God. And then the internet goes away, right? No internet. Oh, what happens like to me last night, remember? Right? So, and, you know, I was in the middle of the class and bye bye internet. But I cannot call and say, like, oh my God, the internet, claro, because it was the rain, right? So, um, try to understand sometimes the customers are frustrated. More than angry, sometimes they are frustrated. And, and that's the reason why they ended up talking in the way they talk, right? Por eso terminan hablando así de mal. Pero anyway, so in the number three, it says actively listen to your customer. Pay attention. Please pay attention to what your customer is telling you so you can understand the problem and then you can provide a good solution, right? Why is this? Because like, imagine the customer is talking to you, blah, 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 blah. And then it says like, usted le pregunta, I'm sorry, how can I help you? How would you feel? Imagínate, les puede estar hablando tanto y te pregunten, ¿y, ¿y qué quiere? O, ¿Cómo puedo darle entonces? No, right? So you will feel like angry, of course. 
because nobody's paying attention. So those are the first three. Thank you, my friends. So now who can help me with the number four and number five? Uh-huh. Number four and number five? To read only? No problem. Ahorita lo buscamos. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, volunteer, Sonia. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, number four. Uh -huh. uh, remove your emotion from the situation and look at it uh, objective. Oh, objectively. 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 There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continue. Next one. Summarize. Mm -hmm. Number five. Correct. Summarize. Okay. Summarize. Es que no me. Esta cosa no me termina de cargar. Uh -huh. uh, summarize the use. Uh, you understand it book. To then uh, to ensure. 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 Okay. Ensure yes. to understand the situation fully. Fully. Mm -hmm. Number six. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. So the members summarize the issue. You understand it back to then to ensure you understand the situation fully, right? Vamos a ver qué significan number four and number five, right? So number four. It's about remove your emotions from the situations and look at it objectively, right? You know, when we talk about remove your emotions, es para no solo cuando el customer is angry, para que no salgas tú más angry, right? Or angrier. Sino que like, eh, que te conmueva too much the customer, que digas, oh my God, the customer, right? So, y te saltes algún proceso, just keep a process in the company, porque al final te va a afectar, it's going to affect you. This is like remove your emotions, right? So focus on, on, on that objectively, right? So then the number five says, summarize the issue as you understand it back to then to ensure you understand the situation fully, all right? What does it mean? Basically repeat to the customer what the customer told you in a polite way. So, for example, um, the customer can say, eh, hi, I'm calling because my internet service is not working and I have been working so hard, blah, 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 blah every day. And you said something like, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Customer, right? I understand that the internet service is not working. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. That's it. Solamente confirmar que el problema usted lo ha entendido. You understood the problem y le hace saber al customer that you cut the idea. All right? Thank you. Uh, hey guys, as a momento, up to here now. Um, any questions so far? Questions, questions? Any questions? Not Vocabulary? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, okay. Uh, my last volunteer here for number six and number seven. Please go ahead. Volunteer, volunteer. Okay, I'm gonna keep us. All right, let's look for it here. Uh, and... Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderon. Hello. Hi, teacher. All right, help me reading number six and number seven, please. Apologies, gracefully. Apologize, gracefully. Gracefully. Mm -hmm. Number seven, mm -hmm. being a solution, usually a discount, coded, or a, a freebie. Freebie helps. <laughs> All right, excellent. So let's say this one. Let me just repeat this one. Apologize gracefully. Hey guys, do you know what is the meaning of apologize? Yes. yes or no? What is it? Can you give me a synonym? Um, Loving culpa. In, <laughs> in English. Yes, of course. 
I was trying on in, uh, thinking that teacher, but it's that the main Spanish. Maybe oh, sorry disculpa. for the inconvenience. Uh, that's correct. Actually, no, 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 no. sorry. No, it's, it's good, but <laughs> we try yeah. to to say it in English. <laughs> Don't worry. Teacher, no, no, no lo recordé, pero then nos puede dar un ejemplo. En apologize. Yes. Apologize is to say sorry, basically. Yeah, the same. Okay, basically. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, it's the same. Apologize is to say sorry, right? So, um, which is gracefully, obviously, it needs to sound like if you really feel sorry for the inconvenience. You know what I'm saying? I mean, con un tono, like with a tone of voice that the customer is going to believe it. It's not going to be like, he's like, no tengo internet por cinco días. Ah, bueno, que lo siento, verdad? ¿Cuál es su número de teléfono? No, right? It, it doesn't have to be like that. It has to be different, right? Like, hey, my internet, it's not working. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Mr. Customer. Let me help you with that right now. But it's different, right? It's totally different. So remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? And uh, then find a solution, right? So because that's the reason why the customer is calling you guys because they need to find a solution. And uh, between parentheses, it says usually a discount or code, a discount code or a freebie helps. Algo gratis o un descuento. La gente love that one, right? Here in El Salvador, it's kind of difficult to get that, but in American culture, it's more common. So let's see. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Questions about the vocabulary? Porque estoy a punto de quitar esta imagen. No, okay. No. Let's continue, all right, with this one. Let's go back to the book. Let's go back to the book so we can see this one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we can continue working in the activity number four right here. Um, allowamos like to talk about difficult customers. Y ahora vemos here. All right. So um, we had to choose one of the situations below. All right. Aquí tenemos five situations. Five, five situations. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need uh, volunteers for reading the situations. I need five volunteers. Who's my first volunteer? Volunteer number one. Hurry up, hurry up. Volunteers, volunteers. Uh, customer is hungry because... His food was not uh, delivered on time. Delivered on time, right? Tiene enojado porque la comida no llegó a tiempo. That's actually the number one. Thank you. Okay. Vamos con Noé, Jill, y luego Evelyn. All right, Noé, go ahead. Okay, okay, teacher. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. All right. So, un cliente agresivo con uno de los empleados. That's another situation, right? Thank you very much, All right? Jill. Okay. Number three. A customer no. says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. For the food. What is a toothpick, people? Palillo. De dientes. Palillo. Muy bien. Very good. Amazing. All right. So, and then number four, Jill. No, Evelyn, right? A customer is calling Oxep because he received the wrong delivery order. Delivery order. Thank you very much. Parecido a la primera. Right. So, well, la primera nunca llegó en la cuarta llegó equivocada. Right. So, okay. number five. Uh, who's the number five here? A group of customers. Uh huh. Who was reading? Henry. A group, right? a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. It's too slow. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we have five situations right there. The casos de customer service, right? Con esta ser aplicado. Y what are we going to do? with those ones. Dice aquí, in the, this one that we need to choose. What is choose, people? It's container. All it's right, like exactly. Thank you, Ursula. So choose one of the situations below and list and describe. Dice aquí, list and describe the steps that you could use to deal with a difficult customer. Right. Gracias a quien compartió la imagen. Right. In the WhatsApp group. Ahí tienen ese ejemplo. 
de los steps que pueden utilizar, parecidos, modificados, etc. Right? Así que vamos a trabajar en esto uh, with your classmate en los breakout rooms. Escogen una de las situaciones y me hacen los steps que van a seguir ustedes para lidiar con estos customers. All right? It's that clear? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. So everybody, let's return to the breakout rooms. I'm sending the invitation right now. Oh, let me send a copy of this to the WhatsApp group so you can see it. The steps. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see who's here. Listener, Nuria. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No, not really. Okay. Um, Remember, if you need questions, me. let me know, all right? Sí, sí. Este, if you have questions, uh -huh. este, De esas cinco que tenemos, vamos a enumerar a eh, No, you choose one of those cases. Esos son cinco casos, right? Ah, oh, son cinco casos. Nosotros vamos de, a hacer otros. De esos cinco casos, you take one y me hacen los steps para resolver ese caso. Ah, okay. Ah, ok. Ahorita. Mm -hmm. Yo lo había entendido diferente. <laughs> like to organize those, those uh, things. To organizar esos. Ok. Pensé, ah, pensé. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Menos mal que entré para que quedara claro ahí. To be clear. Ok, thank you. All right. I will go to a different room right now. If you have questions, please call me, ok? Ok. No sé si es una, podemos poner una pizza o es... Uh, son... uh -huh. Pro, um, eh, uh, 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 crunchy, pepperoni. crunchy. Uh, well, bueno, sí. Uh -huh. crunchy, pepperoni, 
pepperoni pizza. Ok, perfecto. Uh, Ustedes van a hacer un diálogo al respecto. Ok, cool. Yes. Okay. Pepperoni pizza. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Y recibí? I, pepperoni pizza. I received. I, And, no, no, but it's bad. Mm -hmm. But I receive. But I receive. ¿Cómo se dice? Alitos de pollo. Wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, una cantante que dijo así. Chicken. <laughs> Uh -huh, and, uh, but I received chicken wings. Uh, sorry, uh, let me. Wings. Chicken wings. Uh, Mr. Luna, you didn't happened? finish the class last night, right? I have problem with my internet connection because uh, it was a problem uh, about uh, uh, electric energy. Yeah, the energy. All right, it's no raining. problem. Just, just do me a favor, right? So whenever, if that happens again, report it. Whenever you had the internet connection again, report it in the group. Okay, the WhatsApp okay, group. Teacher. Okay. No problem. No problem. Yeah, it's I, okay. I will do it. I will do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're welcome. Yeah. Okay. What, you, happen, uh, what happened with you? Okay. Uh, we <laughs> finished. You know, okay. What happened with you? So, and uh, agent? Agent, the uh, No payment. No, no pagaré por eso. No payment. I, uh, I will not pay for that. I, uh, okay. Okay. I... I will... Okay, for that. So the agent says, uh, I am sorry, I'm sorry to hear to hear that, sir. Uh, if you wish, we can. Refund. No, we can resend the product, or if you re or if you prefer, we can refund your money. Okay. Is that okay, Jill? Uh, at this at this time, we, we change your order. Okay, we can. At okay, we can. This time. You change your order. And I'm going to put a solution amistosa. I'm going to share your order and, and, and ship your order y como agregar algo, ¿verdad? Adicional uh -huh. para la molestia. Okay. Remember lo que decía la imagen. Remember what the image says. It says that you can give a coupon, a discount coupon, o algo gratis. Like, for example, Pizza Hut, if you're talking about pizza or hamburgers, they give you... Paritroques, uh, bread, garlic bread, garlic bread, garlic bread. Oh, delicious! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will go to um different classroom right. I mean different room right now. So if you have questions, yeah, please let me know. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sonia is alone. Your mm. father and. And we will give you an ¿Qué más le podemos agregar para decirle? Sobre el problema. And we will give you an 
I wonder you to explain what the problem is. Uh, mm -hmm. I will look for a solution to the problem. Okay, no problem. But you know, you have worked a lot, all right? So no problem. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, you were working with Noé, you said, right? Yes, no. Okay. Yes, no. 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 Yes, Sorry, sorry. Um, I have a problem with with my internet. Eh, eh, no es... Ah, Gustavo, eres tú, right? So, el que reportó en el grupo, right? Yes. Ah, no. All right. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> All right. <Good. laughs> okay, excellent. Ah, pues, just like, thank you. All right, so no problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, no. Enmendar el error. Enmendar. Okay, no problem, my friend. What to do for? ¿Qué podemos hacer para recompensarlo? Hoy. Um, to get a solution. You get. A solution. Hi guys, can I can I help you with that? Can I help you? Uh, yes, we have okay. an, we have any words for construction the the sentences and the number three. For example, you, you choose number three. Okay. Number three. Uh, for example, the answer is okay, no problem, my friends. What that do for keep a solution? Así era verdad, compañera. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, remember, right? In the group of the WhatsApp, quedaron los steps que yo les les compartí la imagen que les compartí, right? So mm -hmm. donde habían unos steps que se hace primero, right? So eh, ustedes eligieron el number three. You chose number three, correct? Um, um, no. <laughs> no. What? Which one did you choose? Todas las vamos respondiendo. <laughs> ah, okay. But remember, you have to, you have to choose one, y de ahí darme los steps que van a seguir para solucionar ese problem, right? Um, mm -hmm. No solamente la solución de cada problema, right? Exactly. Um. Entendimos mal, pensamos que eran todas. No, no problem, no problem. Pero you still have time right now. So pueden empezar. Cojan una, and then you choose one, y denme los steps que va, querían primero, what will be next, what is next, etc. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's easy, don't worry. All right? Uh, I will go to a different know. room. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You're okay. good. ¿Cuál escogemos, compañera? Um, I think the number three. No, no se dio cuenta, en cambio, este sí se dio cuenta. Um, could be. I remember that. Um, um, well, in the past, my brother. Uh, 
he purchased an ham hamburger from Mike's Burgers and they they only send the bread there's no meat it, between of the bread um, no había carne en medio de la pan <laughs> oh. okay excellent aquí está ya connect this one okay so entonces eh, Catherine who are you working with Eduardo Eduardo Flores. Eduardo Flores, and he disappeared. Vamos a ver si reported something on WhatsApp. Thank you. Well, no problem. Well, but we are about to finish. Don't worry. We are going to go back to the main section right now, okay? okay. Thank you. Crecemos entonces, Ali. Okay. That's like a main one. Okay. All right. Henry, Ursula, Mr. Pardo, Nuriam, hello. All right. So it's, uh, we are about to finish. Hello, Henry. Do you have a question? Oh. Okay. Yo, perdón. Yo entendí que había que trabajar, tomar una, una, como dijera. Algo que puede pasar con un cliente, lo que estaba escrito ahí, y escribir cuando menos cinco cosas que haríamos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. All right. To choose a problem and to give me the five possible solutions, right? Correct. So you were right on that one. Y cómo okay. se escribe... Ajá, uh -huh. sorry. Sorry. Cómo se escribe mantener la calma. Keep calm. Creo que está en el chat de Zoom. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Where is the chat? Chat, 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 chat. Here is. Yay. Keep calm. Yes. Ahí lo está. Pero lo voy a copiar. All right. So. Keep calm. Ahí está. Thank you also, Jill. All right. Excellent. Okay. Everybody, I need some volunteers, right? So, so remember that this is the last activity, right? Así que entre más rápido sean volunteers, quickly we're going to go to sleep, all right? So, who's my volunteer? Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Luna, hello. Hi. Uh -huh. Tell me, what's the what was the um. The problem that you are going to talk about and what will be the solution there. So I have the problems on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is when a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Number four, okay. Number four, yes, right. All right. So tell me, what are the steps you're going to follow to, to find a solution? Uh, teacher, as you know, we were um, doing a, a, a conversation. Okay. Are you going to share it? Uh, yes. Okay, let me stop my screen here. Okay, all yours. Good day. Thank you for calling to Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Okay. okay. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. No, sorry, sorry. Hey, sir. I have a complaint about my order. I asked for a pepperoni pizza, but I received chicken wings. What happened with you? I'll not pay for it. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. If you wish, uh, we can change your order and we will give you a special discount and we can add a garlic bread order because of the complaint. Are you agree or do you prefer a refund? Mm, okay, I'm agree. Send me the order again as soon as possible. Oh, good, thank you a lot, sir. Is there anything else I can help you with? Is everything okay? Thanks. Thank That's you very okay. much. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You know, 
that was a different idea, but with the same purpose, right? So describe the problem and give a solution through the conversation, right? So good job. Congratulations, guys. That was a nice way to present this activity, right? Um, that's it. That's it. You did it wonderfully there. Solamente aquí una uh, correction ahí. Cuando decimos estar de acuerdo, no sería are you agree, sino que sería do you agree, right? Because remember que el verbo agree ya significa estar de acuerdo. Entonces no necesita verbo to be, simplemente es el auxiliar to. Do you agree, for example? Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Another volunteer, people. Another volunteer. Hello, hello. So let's go to the list here, entonces, to see. All right. The first one was Mr. Luna and Jill, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Me, teacher. Oh, who said me? Oh, Ursula. Okay. Who are you working with, Ursula? That was David and Miguel, David right? and, and Miguel, yes. Uh, we um, choose the... Number four, eight, two. Mm -hmm. And uh, a customer is calling upset because he received the ground delivery order. Mm -hmm. And uh, first, uh, we um, have to listen carefully to the customer what he, and understood what is the problem with the customer. Then give an apolo, apolo, uh, apologize. Apologize, very good. Apologize uh -huh. for that problem. Then resolve the situation or problem. In that case, uh, maybe you uh, uh, give a discount in the next purchase or send another kind of food with the correct order and try to send as soon as possible. Try to make a change as soon as possible. And um, uh, finally, uh, give us, again, another apolo apologies, apologize, apologize. Remember que, like, de hecho son dos, apology, apology, que es la disculpa, uh -huh. la disculpa, y apologize, uh -huh. que es el verbo, disculparse. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Give another apologies and and that's it. <laughs> that's it. All right. So that's it. Thank you very much. All right. So because of the time, you know, we're going to stop right here. So um, I just want to take the time to thank you very much, right, for joining the class. Um, I, today's class it was better organized in the way that the, you guys explain to me what happens, the communication was better. So I truly, I truly, truly, truly thank you, all right? So, because in that way we have a better communication, right? So I can like, you know, set the groups. If you can work with other people, if you're gonna be only listeners, if you have uh, problems with the internet connection, please try to always report it, right? But in general, I just wanna say thank you very much for joining the class, for participating. Today's class was nice because you were actually participating a lot as well. And no more words. We're going to stop right here. Time to go to sleep, all right? And I'll see you tomorrow with your homework, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.